here's the, we have uh, an equation of a curve y is equal to e to the power of 3x cos 2x. We're asked to find dy with the x. Okay, then the next part we're asked to differentiate again and show that the following is true. So let's uh, have a go at those first two parts. So we've got part a, y is equal to e to the power of 3x cos of 2x. You should immediately spot you've got a product rule going on here with your u is e to the 3x and your v is equal to cos of 2x and therefore your u dashed is equal to 3e to the power of 3x and your v dashed is equal to um, negative 2 sine 2x. Okay, differentiate inside the cos, you get 2 and the differential of cos 2x is ne uh, uh, of cos is negative sine of the same 2x. So let's state our rule, our dy by dx, we're going to use the product rule, so that's uv dash plus vu dash. Okay, so uv dash, so these two things multiply together, so that's negative 2 e to the 3x sine of 2x. And these two things multiply together, so 3e to the 3x cos 2x. And we could uh, factorise the e to the 3x. I get negative 2 sine 2x plus 3 cos 2x. So I'm going to rewrite that as 3 cos 2x subtract 2 sine 2x, just because it's neater like that. And that is our dy by dx. Okay, now given that I'm going to go on and do d2y by dx squared, maybe I should just uh, check that this is true. And if you get your calculator out, you could d by dx, the original function, substitute in a value and check that it works for yours. And in this case, I've got the right answer, I know that. So, for part b, we're going to differentiate again. Now you should notice that you've got a u and a v again, where in this case your u is e to the 3x again, so your u dash is going to be 3 e to the 3x, but your v in this case is slightly more complicated, but it's just a combination of these two things here. So it's 3 cos of 2x subtract 2 sine of 2x. So v dashed, if you differentiate this, you would get negative 6 sine of 2x, and if you differentiate this, you get negative 4 cos of 2x. Okay, so we're going to apply the uh, product rule again, so dy by dx is uv dashed plus vu dash one more time, but with a slightly more complicated uh, equation. So uv dash of these two things times together, multiply together, e to the 3x, negative 6 sine 2x, subtract 4 cos of 2x. And these two things added, uh, so that's a negative, uh, that's a 3e to the 3x, multiplied by 3 cosine 2x, subtract 2 sine of 2x. Okay, right, so what we could do is we could factorise out the e to the 3x and we've got negative 6 sine of 2x, take away 4 cosine of 2x and we're going to have here add 9 cosine of 2x and we're going to have subtract 6 sine of 2x. So if we combine these together, hopefully we get what we were asked to do in the question. So dy by dx is combining these, you've got a negative sine 2x and you've got another negative sine 2x and you've got a negative uh, 4 cos 2x and a 9 cos 2x. So hopefully you would see this gives us the 5 cosine of 2x subtract 12 sine of 2x. And if we go up here, that's exactly what we wanted. e to the 3x, 5 cosine 2x, subtract 12 sine of 2x. And we've got our uh, answer for three marks. So what we found was the second differential. So when, when I called this dy by dx, I meant d2y by dx squared. Okay, so it's the second differential we found. And the first differential actually is this one here. Now the next question says... The curve has a stationary point in the interval 0 to 1. Find the x-coordinate to three significant figures. So we know uh, what this question is telling us is that for some x-value in between 1 and 0, we know that dy by dx is equal to 0. And it's asking us to find that x-value. So we're going to let dy by dx equal 0, this thing here. So e to the 3x, 3 cos 2x. So we're going to... 
e to the 3x, 3 cosine of 2x, um, and what was it? Subtract 2 sine of 2x. I'm going to make that equal 0. Now the exponential function is always positive, so we can divide both sides of the equation by that just to get 3 cosine of 2x subtract 2 sine of 2x is equal to 0. We can add 2 sine uh, 2x to both sides so we get 3 cosine of 2x is equal to 2 sine of 2x. And what we can do here is we can divide both sides by cosine of 2x. Now we need to check we can do that i.e. cosine 2x is never 0 uh, for x is between 0 and 1. Now the cosine graph looks like this between x is 0 and x is pi by 2 here, and pi by 2 is bigger than 1. So when x is between 0 and 1, somewhere like that, we know that cosine 2x is certainly um, like not 0. So we can divide both sides by it, so we get 3 is equal to 2 tan of 2x, because sine 2x divided by cosine 2x is tan 2x, and therefore tan of 2x is going to be equal to 3 over 2. So we're solving the equation tan 2x is equal to 3 divided by 2. Calculator out, you do inverse tan of fraction 3 over 2. As follows, and you get 0 0.9827, and you divide that by 2. So 2x was... Uh, so therefore, sorry, x was equal to, in this case, 0 0.491 to three significant figures. 0 0.491 to three significant figures. And that's in between 0 and 1, as we were asked. Coming back up, we're asked to determine whether the stationary point is a maximum or minimum and justify your answer. Well, what we can do is we can evaluate the second differential at x is equal to 0 0.491. So we can substitute that into this expression up here. So I'm just going to actually take a second to uh, copy that. So I'm going to copy that and take that down and here. So we're going to all we're going to do is substitute 0.491 into that. So get your calculator out. You've just calculated this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to type in e to the 3x. So it's, it's good to use the calculator in this case. So e to the power of 3x, come out of that, then brackets 5, cosine 2x, so cosine of 2x, close bracket, subtract 12, sine of 2x, so 2 x, and close your brackets, and calculate that uh, answer. And we get negative 31.49 is equal to negative 31.49, which is negative. Therefore, when the second differential is negative, you know that you have a maximum. So the turning point is a maximum, and the question asks us to determine whether it's a maximum or minimum, and we've stated it's a maximum because the second differential is negative.